Hey there, my name is Deandra. Welcome to Mercy Commentary VODs where I play competitive, then talk about my plays and mistakes. This is Elios on my journey back to GM at around 3970, which I placed just below, and these are my final stats. I want to talk about Mercy's playstyle slash role in Season 18, and thought this would be a good match to highlight it, since I put a big focus on utility. There's a lot of discussion as to whether Mercy's a main healer or an off one, and I'll look at that in a second, but my first death is like 10 seconds into the round. <laughs> Okay, so Arana dies and I say over voice chat, I'll res with a shield. We have both Sigma and Arissa that could help, but they both ignore me to go point. Instead of playing safe, I go for it anyway and get killed by Hanzo. In this situation, it would be easy for me to blame our tanks and move on, but ultimately, this death was my fault. At the very least, I should have checked the scoreboard beforehand to see what long-ranged heroes they were running. I also had pillars to my left and right that could have provided natural cover. Anyway, moving on, I've always considered Mercy a main support. Her healing is low but consistent, and by not dying, you can absolutely beat Anna, Moira, and Baptiste. However, in this meta, I'm really liking Mercy as an off healer that just so happens to get gold healing a lot. I have been trying to place a heavy focus on damage boost or body blocking for my team, and if I get silver healing, that's okay. With the global ult charge nerf and current meta in general, defensive ults aren't always needed, and I'm seeing a lot of Mercy Moira for the support pair, which is super fun to play. Probably my biggest goal this season is to enable my team, rather than trying to heal 100% of the damage they take, which I can achieve by working with my second healer. Like here for example, our Widow is going to ask for healing and I spin around to immediately deal with it. Since she looks pretty safe in the backline and I've got ult ready, I should have checked the scoreboard to see Anna's ult status and let her deal with it if she didn't already have nano. I mentioned the enemy has EMP and once they start pushing up, I begin making distance from the rest of my team because I want to avoid it and use Valkyrie in return. This sort of distance when you suspect EMP is also great with Moira, Baptiste, Zen, and Lucio. <laughs> Enemy Sombra's dead, and even if I did get hacked, I was still in Valkyrie, so I wouldn't have fallen here. This segment here actually ends up being my play of the game. I fly to Afara and intentionally position in front of her to body block. Since Valkyrie is over, I can't just stay in front of her face, so while I block a bit of damage, she ends up taking the stun from Sigma's rock, which would have been huge of me to tank. This isn't the end of the world, though. Farah already got a lot of mileage from her ult and she lived through it, which is the most important part. Lately, I have been thinking about making a video on body blocking as Mercy. It wouldn't be very long, but I think it's a useful little way of making big impact, and not many people talk about it. <sighs> Learning from my first death, I used the pillar for cover this time. We still have the objective, so I dip on point to stall, but everyone else has fallen back. I'm not going to get many ticks by myself, so I might as well get out of here while I still have a fly path. <laughs> Instead of Sombra, the enemy team now has Doomfist while we have Farah. I want to pocket her especially hard when possible, and if I'm not beaming her, use her for positioning unpredictably in the air. I should have used the right corner for cover, but luckily Doomfist charges to the right instead of towards me. This easily could have been punished, and that would have been both healers out of the fight. Our Farah gets one shot, and Resurrect will be ready in a few seconds. I decide to stay here because we have Anna to cover healing while I'm out of the fight. I was really happy with this play at the time, but a part of me feels I should have activated Valkyrie, been in the fight, then fly over once Rez was ready. I end the round with another body block on Farah, and I can't stress this enough, I really love body blocking. You should be at peak performance level. First round. 
Adam, pogotovnosti! This round we're gonna run Moira instead of Anna, which I'm perfectly happy with. It doesn't really happen this match, but one of my main goals when Moira is the second support is to avoid stepping on her toes. What I mean by this is, if we're out of the fight and she's healing someone, I may want to tend to someone else as to not waste her resource meter. They do not have the Risky res, but I've noticed that enemy Doomfist hasn't been putting much effort into focusing me this game. Like, I think back to that one res last round where he just left me alone. My camera view is a bit frantic here because I don't know where our Farah is. During the moments where I'm not pocketing her, I should have at least a vague idea about her location. Hello. Hey, there she is, we found her. Both teams have two picks and I want to res, but not before this Doomfist is away from the area. I hover downwards and I meant to land on the lighthouse, but missed due to my camera focusing on allies. This just then puts me in a really shitty position and I'm dead in like a second. There's not much I really could have done here outside of, well, reaching the lighthouse ledge. Hello. I think the fight's winnable. Moira says the fight is winnable, I have no fly paths, but I can see some ruckus ahead of me, so I blind fire towards it in hopes of contributing to the fight while out of it. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's my res target, and here is Doomfist. I res far in the doorway and Doofus dies a frame into it, but I feel I should have positioned further left or right rather than standing out in the open. I don't think it would have been impossible for Doofus to go from here to here if he'd stayed alive. I want to go with Farah, but I accidentally GA to the person in front of me, so now my mobility's on cooldown without me moving anywhere. Farah dies and sadly there's just not much I could have done about it. My allies are clearly fighting people ahead and I keep watching the same direction. What I should have been doing is flicking my camera view between here and here to watch for flanks. I took two shots from McCree on the right which easily could have been preventable if I'd been checking more. One of my most common pieces of advice is to not look in the same direction for more than a few seconds so I'm not sure why I did here. <laughs> With that last Valkyrie, I mainly did it because I was out of position with low health, but I think it was okay. I've had a lot of good ults this season because double main healer means I can put a much larger focus on mass damage boost, which has been so good for breaking chokes or winning a fight after we've gotten a pick. I've also broken my habit of panic ulting when multiple people are low, but are in positions where Moira and I can deal with it normally, which has really helped with impact. <sighs> Enemy Moira is clearly targeting me, so let's try to break line of sight. Gonna be honest, I didn't really react to that Doomfist. There was like half a second where he was to my side, and I honestly thought it was our Doomfist because my focus was entirely on the Moira ult. In that specific scenario, I don't think I could have done much anyway. That being said, as I fell back, you can briefly see him go behind the lighthouse, and if I had noticed, I could have predicted he'd be here and position underneath instead. I was very lucky this game in that the Doomfist wasn't really focusing me. I've seen him in almost every game I've played this season, and going against a really good one can be super frustrating. Another body block on our Farah ult. I didn't actually absorb any damage, but the thought was there, and I'm still pretty happy with this play. We've won the fight and I check the scoreboards before healing Wrecking Ball to see if Moira has ult. She does so I don't have to worry about stealing charge from her. I use Valkyrie in response to Sigma ult, which is something I've been playing around with lately. He only lifts our Sigma who we promptly heal, but in other cases I have been having decent success with this play. I've not done it enough to wholly recommend it as a tip yet, but you may want to play around with it too. Let me get you 
seconds left. And there we go. I'll probably try to focus my next commentary VOD on a loss since my last two have been wins. Anyway, I'm currently doing VOD reviews as a $5 Patreon reward if you're interested in that. I know it's annoying to put it behind a paywall, but I'm just so busy making videos, streaming, and also working on a video game of my own. Hopefully you understand. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to check out my other stuff, and have a nice day. Oh, one last thing, 2CP in this current meta. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>